guys, it's Ashley from Nutted for Reviews here with a new subscription box for children. Uh, this is a stem box called Little Work Box. Super cute. Um, so like I said, this is a monthly stem subscription box for kids ages 8 to 15. Every uh, box comes with up to four projects to complete. If you're not familiar with STEM, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Um, it's really vital in kids' development, growth, and learning. Um, these boxes are $19.95 a month. I do have a coupon code. Uh, CrateJoy10 for 10% off. I'll put that down in the description. I'll also link to them with my affiliate link. And what else? Uh, they, these have a $30 to $50 value. All right, this did come in an outer mailer. I noticed here it says spinning blades, so that kind of tells you what we're going to be doing in here. Some sort of robotics, I'm guessing. All right, you open it up. There's our first glimpse. It says, have fun. And this is Kappa Cassiopeia. A mammoth blue supergiant 4,000 light years from Earth whose velocity field journey creates bow shocks as the star's magnetic fields, particle winds, and invisible gases collide. So there you go. Just a cool little postcard. I like that. That's nice. All right, and here are our, I'm guessing the cards that tell us how to complete our different projects. So it looks like this one has three. All right, first is a vacuum cleaner. So the simplest way to explain how a vacuum cleaner can suck up debris is to think of it like a straw. When you take a sip of a drink uh, through a straw, the action of suck sucking creates a negative air pressure inside the straw. A negative air pressure is lower than the pressure of the surrounding atmosphere. A vacuum cleaner uses an electric motor that spins a fan and creates a region of low pressure inside its pipe. And the outside air pushes dust into and dirt into the pipe. So I want to mention how everything is clearly packaged and labeled. So you have these little envelopes to tell you this is everything you need for your vacuum cleaner project so inside oh I think I'm gonna sneeze yikes this tells you how you're gonna build it all the pieces that you received and then there are detailed instructions with photos on the back so inside here we have, do I want to get it all out or can I just read it off to you? Let's read it off. There's a wood strip, a wood block, a wood block. There's a big and a small wood block, a fan, a motor, a motor holder, a screw, a rubber band, a double-sided tape, battery holder, red wire, black and blue wire, and a filter net. I actually want to see the motor. That's exciting. I used to work with little tiny motors. Uh, once upon a time, a really long time ago. All right, let's see here. This is it. So here you go, here's your motor. I'm excited. That's cool. All right. I satisfied myself there. <laughs> All right. That's our first project. Our second is a prop plane. All right. So that's really cool. I get it now. Spinning blades. Um, so you need to push backward when you want to move forward. When you're walking down the street, you, your feet push back against the sidewalk to move you forward. In a car, the wheels do something similar by kicking back against the road. But what about propellers that power airplanes? A propeller is a machine that moves you forward through a fluid or liquid, uh, through a fluid, a liquid or gas, when you turn it. It has several twisted blades poking out at angles from a central hub, spun around by an engine or motor. Propeller planes produce lift in a forward direction, a force we refer to as thrust. Uh, it's a rotary motion through the air, creates a difference in air pressure between the front and back surfaces of its blades. This pressure difference pushes the plane forward. So like, as we did with the other, I don't know what this is. These might be just tools. All right, we have the propeller plane bag here with all of the items. And in here we have a wood, two long, well, no, we have a, wood, a long wood block, a long wood strip, a small wood block, a motor, a propeller, a battery holder, a wood strip, a wheel, a tire, a steel round rod, one short, one long, a wood round bar, a shaft sleeve, a double-sided tape, and a zip tie. I wanna see this motor. Are they all the same motor? Looks like it's a little different from the picture here. Let's see. This one's a red end, so I'm guessing that has something to do with how much power it has or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. There's that. Let's move on to our third and final project. This one is a solar powered fan. 
All right, so for this one, fans work by moving air, allowing your skin to evaporate sweat faster and cooling your skin. Electric fans use a motor run by an electric current attached to fan blades via a shaft. This rotor shaft is run by the motor uh, and turns the fan blades. Sunlight contains energy. Solar-powered fans harness sunlight to regenerate electricity to power the motor. When light hits an object, the energy turns into heat, like the warmth you feel while sitting in the sun. But when light hits certain materials, the energy turns into an electrical current instead which we can then harness for power. Solar panels are made of solar cells, which turns the solar energy in sunlight into electricity. All right, here's our bag for that one. We're actually getting solar panels in a few months, so I'm really excited about that. All right, so here's that. For this one, we have a long wooden stick, a base platform, a rectangular wood block, a triangular wood block, a trapezoid wood block, a square wood block, a motor holder, a motor, a solar panel, a fan blade, a screw, a wire connector, and a wire. This motor looks a little bit different. Oh, I should All right. This one is a bit different. I'm sure. This one looks a little bit more like a battery almost. Smaller. All right, and then in this little extra bag, we have, let me make sure I put this back where it belongs. That's smart. It looks like things that we'll be using for all the projects like glue. Yeah, and here you just have a little tube of glue and a little screwdriver. And then that's everything. Um, I will on my my review, my blog, I'll do all these with the kids. So you can kind of seem to come together. So if you're interested in that, please check that out. Um, and I will also link down below two little workbox so you can check them out if you so desire. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.